I'm so good. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course. Thanks for having me. Of course. I know I congratulated you on the series already, but I mean, the premiere just happened. So congrats on having it out into the world. That's such a big like thing. So I kind of want to start off with that. What was your day like to like release the episode out into the world, introduce your character and see the fans kind of react and just have everything out there? It, for me, it kind of felt like like taking a huge deep breath because we had spent like, you know, six months in Atlanta and so many days on set, so many overnights, tons and tons of just hard work for me, the rest of the cast, the rest of the crew. And like now that episode one is out, it kind of just feels like, oh, like a relief, like it's happening. It's here. People can see it. Everyone has opinions on it. It's kind of this whirlwind like experience, but it overall, it feels very much like a big deep breath. I got to speak with everyone involved in the cast. You all are just so wonderful and lovely. But one thing I really enjoyed about each of your interviews is each of you brought up mental health. And obviously that is such an important part of this show. And as someone who covers television and loves when they incorporate like real issues that can affect people, I was really happy about that. Can you tell me about how mental health, we're going to see that going forward in the series? Obviously no spoilers, but what, what can fans expect in that regard? Um, I mean, I think the way that Jeff kind of played out the werewolf and the idea of people becoming werewolves, it's almost like a metaphor in a way that like everyone kind of has this werewolf looming over them, whether that's anxiety or family problems or relationship stress, you know, family dynamics, like everyone kind of has this big cloud that sometimes looms over them. And in a way through the season, we kind of see each character dealing with their version of the werewolf and like what that means to them. And they're kids, they're teenagers. So it's, we get to see teenagers dealing with their version of this like big, thick, heavy cloud, which is, you know, the werewolf. And I think it's important for the audience that we're catering to, to be able to see kids like them going through difficult times and things that they might be able to relate to in a way, but it's also fun and it's full of like horror and drama. So we get to see this mental health is talked about in this young adult show, but in a more entertaining way, in a way that young adults are able to understand better and feel like they can relate to. I did get to speak with the Teen Wolf cast as well. And Crystal said something that really resonated with me as someone who grew up with Teen Wolf. It was basically that she's had, you know, fans come up to her and say, Allison has saved my life. Allison has had this effect on me. And I think that is such a beautiful way to express the power of television. I truly think, especially with teen shows, so many audience members can feel that way about a character. I'm curious for you, is there a character or a few characters that stand out from your own personal life that you feel like this character came to me at the right time and I needed to see a portrayal like that? Ooh, um, you know, growing up, like especially in middle school, I loved um, like movies and and series kind of like The Hunger Games where there was a very strong female lead, you know? Um, so anytime there is um, a female lead that's very independent, very powerful, very strong, like I grew up with my mom being that role model for me. So seeing characters like that, I really connect with because it's just, you know, we always we always see the damsel in distress oh, or yes. <laughs> the girl trying to find her prince, you know, and, and that's fine. Like that's that's life as well. But seeing the representation of strong female leads is also very important to me personally. And I think to a lot of young girls, because society puts it on women all the time that it's like, it should be harder for us. And we, you know, we've got all these struggles as women and all this discrimination as women. So to be able to see strong female leads come forward and really stand up for themselves and pave their own path, I I think is very important. I remember watching that for the first time. It was like, unlike anything I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah. So, I read the books too. And yes. some of my favorites. Yeah. Forever. And how does it feel to be adding to that legacy of playing a strong female character on television and knowing that there is going to be an audience member that maybe looks at you and your character and is like, wow, I needed, I needed this. I needed this now. I'm honored. I mean, Blake 
like any other teenage girl, she's got her own insecurities. She starts out with severe acne that she hides from with her hood. And, you know, she's insecure about her family and the life that she kind of has and can't really escape. But she knows what she wants. And she's still very, she's very strong and powerful in the fact that she will stand up for herself and she'll be brutally honest to anybody around her. And I think she kind of realizes that that's kind of her strength, like her honesty and her, her natural inner strength is what keeps her going. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm honored to play a character like Blake. I love her. <laughs> I feel like with every project, there has to be something specific that either the project taught you or something that was challenging for you to tackle in some way, shape or form. Is there anything that you associate with Wolfpack that you're like, this was challenging or this taught me something, but it's going to help me so much on future projects? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've. I've worked on other projects before, you know, uh, the wilds on Amazon prime and, or just the new black. So and stuff. good. This so project good. taught me so much as a lead in a series, because of course I've done all these other things as different types of roles, but to be the lead of a series and a supernatural series, you know, we've had to work with special effects We've had to work with special effects that aren't there yet that they edit in post. So we pretend we're seeing something that's not even there yet. Uh, night shoots. Like they told us that we were going to be doing a lot of running and a lot of night shoots, but I was not fully prepared. <laughs> but now I am. Now I'm like, all right, I got it. I got, I got it. it. I don't know. I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> now I do want to go off the special effects sort of thing. I mean, I think that's such an interesting thing to dive into. Is there one that you were really excited to see the transformation on screen, whether it's special effects like makeup or like, what was it like to actually see post-production what you were like pretending to see in, in the filming? Like, how is that process for you as an actress to see everything really come to life in that way? Yeah. I mean, there were, there were so many moments where we would be reacting to things that weren't even there yet. Um, especially with my running, uh, we get to see throughout the season because Blake has super speed. Uh, we get to see me run, which I, I had to do in real life. And I have to pretend there's a werewolf chasing me. And when I turn around, there's nothing there. And I'm like, why am I running at five in the morning when there's not actually anything behind me? <laughs> um, but I, I mean, I'm super happy with a, a lot of the special effects and how they turned out. And um, there's a scene in episode three that gets really really scary and I'm I'm really excited to see how that one turns out because we get to see the wolf pretty up close and personal in that episode um and I'm really excited to see how that turns out the running is so funny because it's like as if the running wasn't hard enough for me I have to turn around and like look and pretend to like act and see I can see this crazy <laughs> yeah thing. it's like... weird it's weird <laughs> it's so much fun and, you know, you obviously have Sarah Michelle Geller on this show, which everyone was so excited for her return to this supernatural drama and all that. Did you get any advice from her? Did you sit down and kind of talk about her experience with her? Anything like that, that you feel like helped you personally? Yeah, I mean, I've I've said before that Sarah is, she's just so helpful in so many ways. Like she's, it, she's helpful in the way that she, even if it's like small little tweaks during scenes that she thinks will help like performance wise, or, you know, if it's been a long day, like she'll, she'll come up to all of us and be like, keep going guys. Like I know it's long, but like, she'll, she'll keep us going. And like, not only is she super like helpful and full of advice, but she's just, she's really kind. Like she's so sweet. She's so genuine. Her family is so sweet. Like she had her daughter on set with us sometimes and her daughter's the sweetest. And she's just so, so kind. And like, I couldn't be more grateful to be able to work with a strong woman in the industry who's yeah. also very kind and welcoming and honest. Like she's just, she's just a good person. <laughs> she's really good. It's so important to have that on a set as well. I feel like, especially for, you know, younger actors, it's so important to have that, to feel safe in an environment and make sure you're getting taken care of. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I tell my mom all the time because, you know, my mom saw me go off to Atlanta and and film this this show for six months. And she was like, are you OK? Like, you know, you never know what happens in this no. industry. And I was like, you know, like Sarah's really looking out for us and like she'll just make sure that 
that we're all set and we're all good all the time. And it's, it's great. And I imagine looking back on the experience, there's so many favorite memories. Do you have one that in particular stands out, whether it was just really a moment that strengthened a bond between you and your co-star, just one that you couldn't stop laughing or anything like that? Um, I mean, I could go through so <laughs> many memories, um, especially when, you know, you're spending that much time with the same people and you're you're just automatically connected and bonded like this. But um, I mean, there were moments driving home at eight in the morning from the middle of nowhere after running through the woods with these people and just feeling that exhaustion together, but also feeling so proud of like, okay, like we did this, like we all just spent 15 hours in the middle of the woods and we're fine. Like we did it and we're proud of what we did and we're proud of each other. So I think just every little in-between moment between sets and feeling where we can like we can brush our characters off and really just be ourselves around each other I think those are probably what those moments are probably more special to me than anything yeah and I do as someone who was there want to ask you about New York Comic Con I think that is such a fun environment to do any show or film and I was so glad to see you guys there can you talk a little about what that experience was like because it's one thing to see the fans online, but to see a whole room filled with people there to support you and that are excited about the show. I mean, what was that like? Was that your first convention? Do you want to do more stuff like that? Yeah. So <clears throat> Comic-Con, we were all really super excited about because it was, it was October. So we were still in the middle of filming everything. And when we found out that we were going to be able to go to Comic-Con, we were so excited because it felt like this kind of refresh in the middle of this back-to-back -back routine that we've had. So we got super excited, the four of us together, to pick out our outfits and fly to New York. So already we were just super grateful for this experience because it felt almost like, even though we were technically going for work, it felt like it was like vacation okay. in the middle of filming. Mm -hmm. Um and, you know, we get there and we're staying in this gorgeous hotel. And then the day of Comic-Con, seeing all of those people from the stage and then hearing someone from the crowd being like, the Teen Wolf family accepts you. It was like, Aww, yeah. like my heart melted. Like that's, yeah. that's all anyone wants to hear. You know, when especially as an actor, when you're filming a show, a supernatural show, you never know what kind of audience you're going to get. But with Wolfpack, we kind of have this family built in already. Like we're already, we, we're the ones joining the the family, you know, like they, they are already this close family. The Teen Wolf cast is a family. The Teen Wolf fandom is a family. So it's like, we're kind of being accepted into these big, like loving arms. And it's, it's just crazy. I just never expected it to be this way. First of all, it is not a spinoff of Teen Wolf. You guys, we got to make that clear, not a spinoff of Teen Wolf. But if you could bring any Teen Wolf actor or character to make like a small fun cameo, who would you want it to be? Because I did see you guys all supporting each other at the premieres. It was really sweet to see. So I imagine there, even if it's not the same, you know, show, there is that sort of bond, you know? I mean, yeah, um, we got to speak with all of the Teen Wolf cast, Um Pretty frequently. And I actually I ran into Tyler Posey and his girlfriend at this cafe that I go to all the time. And it was so funny, just like, you know, we're both off work. We're both just chilling. But it just he was like, hey, like, what's up? And it was just like it's like we had kind of like known each other after this time. And it was yeah. so nice to meet his girlfriend. And it just felt like we were all like friends, like seeing each other randomly out. Um, so to have Tyler on the show would be awesome because he's just he's a hard worker he's nice he's kind um and Holland is super super sweet yeah. um she actually gave Chloe and I some great advice um back in Atlanta she was filming our wolf watch show with us yeah. um, which is that kind of after the episode um little thing mm -hmm. and she was she was also really kind she's also such a hard worker um so to have Holland on the show would be really cool too <laughs> Is there any show that in your wildest dreams, like throw genre out the window, throw everything out the window? Is there a show that you would like to do a crossover with that you are a fan of? Oh my gosh. That's such a good question. Ooh. I mean, 
Growing up, I kind of like I loved the Vampire Diaries. I of was a course. vampire girl for sure. Yep. Um, and I don't know. I feel like because we are such a like dark, heavy show, it'd be really funny if we did a crossover with like a comedy. Like I love Abbott Elementary right now. <laughs> Okay, I know you're going to think I'm making this up. I swear to you, that's the one I was thinking of. Really? In my head. I swear I'm not lying. I had it in my head. I didn't want to say it because I'm like, if I say this out loud, it's going to sound absurd. But I swear I was thinking up in elementary because I'm obsessed with that show too right now. Me too, but also it would be like insane, but I feel like it would go really well. Like it would be really, really funny. I feel like I you just gotta to mash, up, mash it up, see what happens. Like, just have fun with it, right? <laughs> I would love that. I think that would be great. That would be hilarious. <laughs> we're pitching it now. It's fine. We're we're gonna pitch it, manifest it into the universe, and when it happens, then then we'll really get a good laugh. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Bella, thank you so much for your time today. It's so wonderful speaking to you. Oh, of course. Thank you so much. It was good to see you again, yes. and. I love all of your questions. Like, oh, you're so good at this. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. No, please. It's a pleasure. And I hope we get to, we will, we will speak again soon. Definitely. We will. 100%. We will. So I look forward to it. Boys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not right. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.